comes along the fourth Thursday of every February. In case you didn't know, today <laughs> is National Chili Day, and here in Cincinnati, we should know that. We sent WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz out to find out what makes our chili so special. There's snow on the ground, the temperatures are falling, and this is the perfect weather for Cincinnati chili. So we went to the experts to find out just how we put it together. When it comes to local cuisine, chili tops the charts. I actually have some chili right in here. I'm celebrating chili day. I didn't even know it was chili day. Even transplants learn to like it. Yeah, I, I kind of like chili now. It grew on me. This is Jeff Sheldon, the program chair at the Midwest Culinary Institute. He loves eating Cincinnati chili as much as he loves making it, but admits at other jobs he's caught some flack. It was the first time I made chili by the chef's orders, and I added cinnamon to it. I thought his head was going to explode. That was just sacrilege in his thought. But, but realized too that any time a, a party came in that wanted Cincinnati chili, then he'd turn to me and say, "You make that stuff." Cincinnati chili is now a $250 million industry with 250 chili restaurants in the greater Cincinnati area alone. While traditional chili seems to originate from the Southwest, according to Dan Wallert, author of Authentic History of Cincinnati Chili, our version started in Macedonia, now Eastern Europe. Cumin, cinnamon, and cloves gives our chili its own special flavor. It was first imported to New York City as a chili dog, then moved west, turning into the three-way, and eventually the cheese top dishes we see today. I can tell you I have friends, every time they come from Houston, that's the first stop they make is at a Cincinnati chili parlor when they get off the plane. Now, Cincinnatians aren't the only ones that enjoy Cincinnati-style chili. There's actually a chain of restaurants in the Mideast that serve it in Qatar, Jerusalem and Israel, and also portions of Afghanistan. Reporting from the Midwest Culinary Institute, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. All right, you get educated on this stuff. Miss Westsider over there, listen up here, Sheree, listen to this. According to Dan Wooler, the author of Authentic History of Cincinnati Chili, the biggest myth about our chili is the use of chocolate or cocoa. Myth huh. is what they're saying. Well, for more myths and interesting facts to chew on, we have a slideshow posted at WLWT.com. Whatever they use, it's delicious. It is 